Jim Epler, Studio 220. Jim, thanks for taking the time to share with us today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Uh, Jim, tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, um, I have been a pro illustrator um, my whole career. After going to the Art Academy of Cincinnati in the um, 1970s, I had a, a three-year stint at a um, packaging studio and then went off on my own, but with two other guys, starting Air Studio, where we specialized in airbrush illustration oh, nice. and photo retouching. And that business went on for almost 20 years. And then when the um, onset of digital illustration came about, I learned how to do that, but I really had a, a, a like for the uh, working with real material, traditional materials, oils and pencils, and have since been doing that on my own. Very good, very good. How did you come up with your style of art? I, it just the, the the depth and the and the, the technique that you have is incredible. Okay, I mean, just well, the realism I, and, I and think that. I think I have two styles. One, they are both based in realism as far as the final rendering is concerned, but um, also uh, some of the Bachfest posters that I've done are more a little bit more a cartoon drawing style but still rendered realistically and um, as far as the rendering goes and the painting goes it's very traditional with underpainting and building up on layers very good very good so now you just kind of touched on my next question but tell us a little bit about your process and how you lay the, the painting out do you have do you have an idea in your head of what you're going to start with or it does it just come to life as you go along? I know a lot of it's kind of theme based, but... Yes. Well, two different directions again. When I'm plein air painting, I just um, start painting from the landscape and paint from there. When I'm doing a commercial piece, like one of the Bachfest posters or the Cuticle 14K posters, I do a number of uh, pencil sketches first and then transfer the chosen one onto the canvas and I start with a layer of burnt orange and let that dry and then I work on top of that with shadows and light so it's kind of like if you start in the middle value and work towards the light and towards the shadow. Got it. So now how long have you been part of the Essex? Uh, since 2015. Okay. And uh, what what are some of the advantages you see of being at the Essex? I know a lot of people say the camaraderie, being able to bounce ideas, that kind of thing. Yes, that's it. It's like having other artists around you that you can learn from. I've always thought that um, no matter where you are in your stage of being an artist, you, you should keep learning and also keep teaching too. And um, being here at the Essex, it's like there are other artists involved that, um, that, that you meet and you see how they're working, what their work looks like, and you can learn from that. Yeah. Now, you were going to touch on, I was very excited for you to talk about your book and uh, the illustrations you did for that bottle there. Okay. If you could touch on that for just a moment. Sure, sure. So I've been doing... I'm kind of known for doing beer art, um, beer as a subject matter. Uh, I did... Uh, I'm known for drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> I do that too. So I did a Bachfest poster like almost 30 years ago and they wanted me to continue doing them. And last year I published this book called Bach, 25 Years of Bachfest Posters because yeah. I've done them for 25 years. The book actually contains like a lot of background information on sketches, concepts, and all of that. And I've also done labels for Moraline. I've done murals for Moraline and murals for artworks, which that's another subject I'd like to touch on is just teaching through artworks. I've been doing that for six years. Um, it's an organization that does a lot of murals around town as long as as well as other things and I really enjoy like teaching the 
teenage artists, they're like 14 to 21, um, about, you know, how to paint, how to do murals. So I did want to mention that as, as yeah. an important thing. Um, one of the other things I have up here is the label I did for the Art Academy's opening of their brand new gallery, just opened at the end of August. It's at the corner of 13th and Jackson Street, yeah. 1212 Jackson. It's actually uh, a few years back used to be where Barrel House Brewing used to be. So they had one of the brewers make this stout and they had me do the label for it. And it was a great honor to be the first artist that they uh, did an exposition of back in August and well, September and October. Very cool. Hey, um, what would you say, I always ask this question, you kind of touched on it already, I know you've been teaching for a long time, you mentioned younger artists just getting into it, what would you say to aspiring artists? Well, uh, the younger ones, well any of them really, I think that it's, it's important to keep learning and that, that, you know, what you get out of it is what you put into it, it's kind of like, if you want to be a guitar player you gotta play guitar every day if you want to be a painter you gotta paint every day and it also helps to learn from other artists because I mean if you try to do it on your own it's gonna take longer and there are like classes you can take schools you can go to um, things you can learn online and workshops if you do those um, you'll feel progress faster than if you just try to do it on your own and you know some of that happens here at the Essex with the uh, teaching and just learning from other artists. Yeah, I teach a sculpture class through the Art Academy so. Great, great. <laughs> hey Jim, thanks so much for taking the time. It's, it's just incredible having you here at the Essex. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.